Hi, it's Todd Doyle coming to you from Memphis, Tennessee, and we've got another video this week, this time a blast from the past. It's the year 2000, and Master Graham is giving a lecture on 20 punches at the International Conference of Wuzhou Chen. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video. It's kind of a long one, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's great classic stuff. Um, you'll see some faces that you haven't seen in a long time. So enjoy the video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. ...of training that the student goes through uh, by performing 20 punches. <laughs> When the student does, does a form solo, he learns to punch across his body and to react to the punch and absorb, sink, and float uh, without being challenged uh, at the beginner level. This being the introductory stage, the student uh, in 20 punches then learns the catching phase, which, and the set sparring stage of the uh, form. This form indicates forward motion, backwards, left, right, up and down strikes uh, applied in a sparring situation. Primarily, the catching has to do with the arm bar locks and the leg sweeps that, are, that go on in the form. student, the teacher, as the forward motion goes, what I'm going to do is use the distancing of the leg sweep, and if I stay too close, he can then bar lock me. So the person doing the catching must ensure that he stays outside of that range. He measures that range from the wrist to the elbow joint by the way he blocks. So as I come forward now, I will sweep, he, he checks my leg. As in, a, as in a pond, there's more going on underneath the water than in above. As I take the leg sweep, he checks my leg, forces me outside, and then redirects. So, on the third punch, the student then turns his hand over, making the block, the punch, a block, redirects, sinks on the arm, comes down the block to deliver 14 strike. The next movement would be then to come up and strike to the chest and have the area. But as you see, I blocked. So now we're going to the 45 degree angle. Come over and block.
That is a level uh, one type, intermediate type catching. There is a leg drill that we have developed in the U.S. to help the student to understand, oh, understand and control leg sweeps. And the student, if you notice, the students are trying to do leg sweeps and hooks, low, low kicking, and also attempting to strike pressure points to ensure the unbalance. And, so, and sometimes that's very difficult to teach, so we, we broke it out into that, that one leg drill. And thank you very much. Therefore, as soon as the student feels the forward motion, he must yield and block the forward leg, or he will be thrown. So you need to use your jump sound. This continues through uh, either applying the bar locks or that hip throw, depending on the option that the person wants to play. This method can be used in other 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 techniques. Degree angle of the practitioner allows the catcher to get too close past bar lock position again. He then can apply a hip throw to the other person he's catching with. So, in this 45 degree angle of the position, now all these options being played now for the intermediate Gorcho practitioner that will do a catching. Doing leg checks, doing bar locks, and attempting to do throws. All these options are being played as they practice them. This kind of work through guys. If one of the uh, person doing the catching gets uh, gets in too close. Then obviously the uh, practice stops. So if two people are too close, then you can't continue to practice. So you want to be very careful not to uh, hurt your opponent, but just let him, or your training partner, just let him know that you're in that zone. So you need to maintain a certain distance. Thank you very much. Now these ladies will perform the set sparring part to 20 punches. The theory behind this particular training set is taking it out of different segments or sections and applying them in a in a, in a mode, in a different mode. So the onlooker, I guess, it would you would be able to see this this is part of the form in catching, and I will explain how this most of these movements apply to the form in twenty five. In 20 punches, there's a reference point where the left hand and the right hand are together. Go to reference point. Reference point. Good. Now, this person here is doing the punching, and as as she progresses. She blocking and then turning the handle, which I will demonstrate. Cool. 
this is the, the reference point in 20 punches form. This is what's happening. As, as, I, as she punches, I press down on the pressure point. And what I'm doing is going to go this far a lot. For her to defend against that, as soon as I, she feels pressure, she punches, and then as she steps forward, and then to stop, to stop the forward motion, I have to block with the arm I was going to lock with. Then the whole process starts again. I start the arm bar lock, and she punches across. So her punch now becomes block, and the block now becomes a punch. Now, thank you very much. In the next part, let's go to the punching three rings. Yeah. If the person doing 20 punches catching doesn't take a right move but goes left, this is this what happens. In, in other words, if I was doing catching, as the hands pass at this position here, if I go this way, the catching occurs. If I go to the left, another whole set of options are now created for the practitioner. From this position in the, in the same reference point, as you see, what happens is this guy here, hits the, the catcher, clears the zone and it comes forward and tries to punch and he steps back and causes that block to happen. Again, it's from the reference point, hand left, hand up. And continue going since far. This, this particular, okay, this particular move occurs from the reference point. From the reference point. As the hands passes, as the hands pass up, I start to punch. The guy, the person doing the form, then comes up for a wrist lock position. And that's how that occurs in the set spar position. You see again, we're in the we're in the ready position. I start to punch, he comes up, grab locks, and I have to lock back in order to break the wrist lock. The cut position is then applied across the wrist, down, over, and out of the range of bar lock and pressure points. Uh, guys, we, we appreciate your time and hope you uh, enjoyed our interpretation of 20 punches and 20 punches set for Hi, I'm John Graham. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to watch my video. As a certified speaker, coach, and trainer for the John Maxwell team, I couldn't be more excited to help you take your business and life to the next level. You know one of the things that drives my passion for leadership every single day is that I get to add value to people. Now, I have a few questions for you. Where are you in your life right now? What do you want out of your life? and what do you fear the most? Having an answer to these three questions is extremely important because it gives you a goal and allows you to create a path, a set of directions, showing you how to get where you want to be. Your everyday life is filled with choices and it is those choices that mold the world around you. You need to find your gift and maximize it to serve others because once you are able to serve others, you start to serve yourself. And that freedom and fulfillment you've been searching for falls into your lap. Now, if you want to increase your performance, productivity, and processes, contact me. I'd love to help you take your business to the next level. And thank you for watching and have a great day. Being a certified speaker, coach, and trainer from the John Maxwell team means that he is part of a team of elite coaches, teachers, speakers, and professionals taking leadership training, talent, skills, and adding value to people all over the world. Everything rises and falls on leadership.